Hey, I'm Jack Hutch, commercial editorial photographer, San Francisco Bay Area. Um, here today with uh, Mark Silver talking about some of my photography techniques. Um, some of my clients include uh, Time Magazine, uh, Gentry Magazine, Verizon, Apple, and uh, many more. Anyways, I've had the opportunity to shoot celebrities like Jerry Rice, uh, Willie Mays, quite a bit of fashion work as well um, throughout Europe, as well as Hawaii and California. Uh, I'd love for you to come in today and take a look and see what Mark and I are talking about and uh, give you some ideas on making yourself a better photographer. Welcome to the Mark Silver Show, Advancing Your Photography, where we bring you tips from remarkable photographers about how to take photographs you love. Hey, Jack, thanks for joining me on Advancing Your Photography. Well, thank you. Great to have you here. Tell me about your approach to photography and the type of work you really love to do. Well, I'd say 80% of my work is people work. Um, I deal a lot with editorial, lifestyle type of stuff, and quite a bit of commercial people stuff. Um, the approach to it is it's, it's quite different because the majority of my products, I mean, my projects range from uh, driving to a location without knowing where that location is and figuring out a lighting scenario within maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Um, a lot of times the photo shoots, these people have five minutes to do the shot, maybe 20. Mm. Um, and a lot of people that work with me hire me because of that one reason. I, I can go into a place, analyze it, get the shot done, and get out of there as soon as possible because I do a lot with CEOs, um, athletes, celebrities, that type of stuff. And uh, a lot of times these people don't have the time. They have five minutes, 15 minutes. So. Uh, a crew shows up, we set up the lighting scenario, whatever it may be, maybe one fill, maybe natural light, whatever may happen, and then we just make that, that shot happen as, soon and as quick and as efficient as possible. What are some of the key points that you use every time you pick up a camera or even before you pick up one? Um, I would have to say being loose. Uh, a lot of guys have a certain methodology. <laughs> and my methodology is kind of wild, man, because that's just who I am, and I can't really put myself in a box. Change it up every single time. There's really no rhyme or reason to that lighting, and I, I actually try no light, real light, flashlight. Um, I've even had a scenario once where I used head beams from a, from a car, huh. and I've actually shot at sun, dusk, and we've turned on the highlights from my truck, and we shot person with, with that type of lighting. <laughs> so. so you got a loose approach. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how does that, can you give us some practical points as far as lighting tips? I would say, you know, the main thing for, for especially people if there's movement, you want to keep that f-stop up somewhat high, mm -hmm. you know. I think in the day of digital, 400 speed's always a nice speed to use if there's some movement going on. And, you know, you, you want to keep that f-stop eight and a half higher just for sharpness. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you get down to a lower f-stop, of course, you're going to get a little bit of softness sometimes in the movement. So I, you know, try to maintain a light or a lighting source that's somewhere between eight and sixteen. If in fact, you know, weather permits that, because yeah. sometimes then you get that spotlight effect. But I think by bumping up that film speed, it takes care of that ambient light, okay. and at the same time you can bump up your your f stop. And then post production you can always open it up a little bit as well. In terms of emotions, what are some of the emotions you've hit as a photographer? Um, I love joy. <laughs> I, I I love. Um, explosiveness. Um, I, I'd say I, I like movement. I like things that have um, just a lot of emotion just from body movement and sometimes facial movement, that type of thing. Um, and then there's some of that, you know, more of a serene type of thing where you're taking a photograph of a cancer uh, child or something like that. So that, that's very emotional to me because mm -hmm. then it brings up all the emotions that you had, maybe a, a father or somebody that might have passed away for you, and you're in that hospital scenario. So you're trying to Okay, what am I portraying here? Happiness or am I portraying sadness? So it's a real inner battle with a photographer to go into a situation and, and to feel as if, um, do you want to portray your emotion or do you want to portray what their emotion is? Right. So uh, crossing that bridge is sometimes difficult, but I think um, getting to know that person. Yeah. yeah then you can actually express what that emotion will be today. So, and everybody's day is different, you know, and, and I think, again, that, that relationship with that subject for, you know, a few minutes will bring that emotion out, whatever it may be. But I prefer joy, I prefer movement and, you know, those type of things. Hey, Jack, so I wrote a blog post about what's the mojo, you know, in a photograph. Mm -hmm. What is it that gives you the mojo that really makes a photograph pop? 
the mojo is spirit, you know. I, I think if you go out there and feel like there's no mistakes, okay. The world of digital, which is so wonderful, <laughs> besides some of the old school film processes, is that you really can't make a mistake. If, if you go out there and just keep shooting, try lighting scenarios, um, approach subjects in different angles, different ways, different feelings, and then go through that edit and really look and concentrate on what you've actually been doing and, and take notes. I think you will find that spirit and where it really worked for you. And maybe it was halfway through the film and then all of a sudden you're getting jazzed because the light changed, the person changed, and all of a sudden it's there. That well, mojo's there. There's the mojo. And there's that spirit. There's everything that you wanted as a, as a photographer, as an artist, hits. And if you can find that moment, edit that moment, and then try to keep achieving that moment, I think you'll get there. So. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Composition. What are some good tips for composition? Multiple lenses. You know, I, I, I love shooting full length, then I love coming in tight, and then maybe even tighter. You know, um, I think what that does for you as a shooter is it, is it shows you where the light source came from. If you did a 17 millimeter, you have a light coming in from a window. So maybe you remember that. <laughs> yeah. And then say you come in tighter and you shoot a 100, you know, 100 millimeter lens. And then actually, if you go back and say, this is what the light was, this is where the light was coming from, and this is what happened when I came in tight from that natural source. Because if you just shot a headshot of you and you don't have the memory, it's just in your head of say, the light source, oh, I, I did that. At least you have what you did, you know, that broad angle to know what was happening at that time when you created that image. Jack, any final tips for viewers who just want to become better photographers? And a lot of times people, you know, they just shoot and, hey, look at this shot, and then I can ask them, how'd you do it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, I think it was at this time. <laughs> but I think just taking those notes and having like a Bible, mm -hmm. a Bible of how you created your work will really down the line help you out immensely as a photographer. You could have a Bible of, say, 50 photographs that you've done, and guess what? Now you can actually go out and shoot that shot if you if so hired to do it or you want to go and achieve that with you know a friend family or business awesome all right jack thanks for joining us on advancing your photography thank you really awesome cheers be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography also check out our guests website for a closer look at their work Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life. Hi, I'm Jack Hutch, commercial editorial photographer, San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, I've been blessed with the ability, well, sorry, let's start over. Blessed with the ability, what the hell is this freaking freak? Yeah, I do, I got religion. Hey now, all right. Hey, I'm Jack Hutch, commercial editor.